Hi all. It's just gone seven in the evening. Yeah, it's a bit of a late video today. Um, I'm just gonna turn the light on because it's a bit dark as well. I do have to zip downstairs in a bit because uh, someone should be coming to have a look at and possibly pick up the bike. Um, I found this round the corner in a pile of junk actually just round the corner there where um, the grounds maintenance team pile up all their crap there's an old oven an old um, moped frame there's wheelbarrow frames there's fucking all sorts around there actually and this was on the pile so I grabbed it now this is your budget brand <laughs> Yeah. an old budget branded bike Universal I don't know if they still exist or if they trade under another name nowadays but it's got the old brake calipers which I actually like I wouldn't mind fixing this one up because it does I like the colour of this but do, I don't know if you can actually see it on camera but you might be able to see that those forks are well and truly bent. So, uh, someone's been playing around with this and ghosted it into a wall or something, but the wheel is straight, from what I can tell, both are straight actually. There was no rubbing when I walked it around here, so that's good. So I think I'll keep the frame as a future project, because the frame is in, um, apart from some chips along the bottom there which is uh, common on a lot of bikes anyway it's in relatively good condition and I don't like scrapping good frames it, no doubt at some point I'll end up with a pile of bits that I could put this back together with so for now I've got steel wheels so you know what I'm going to do with these steel wheels don't you I I'm going to put them on that other bike I've got downstairs. So I've got replacement steel wheels. Don't need a replacement crank. I'm not going to put the crank on the Schwinn. I want to put something better than that on there, and I've got better than that in the cupboard. It's just being asked to go and dig it out. <laughs> um, it's complete. Brakes work. Handlebars have been twisted. What a funny angle. And you can see there. That's all loose as hell. And what not. Pedals are all chipped and broken. Oh, I've done a little bit on the uh, Schwinn as well. I've actually fitted the uh, V brakes. Yeah, I don't know where to put this. <laughs> da, 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 da. It's actually the neighbour below me said, have you seen the bike around the corner? And I was like, yep, already got it. Because <laughs> I believe he locks his bikes in one of the barns around the corner. I wonder if he cleared out his shed around the corner. He might actually have some room to put them in there, but never mind. But, uh, for now going to be mostly a parts of bike, but like I said, the frame's good, so it would take a lot of force to try and straighten those forks out, and, then, and now they've been weakened anyway, so probably won't really use them. I might try wedge the forks in something and use the frame as a lever to see if I can straighten them out, but anyway, I need to use the bathroom, so I'll be back Ooh, that feels better. Right. How long have I got? I think they're coming round about 8 o'clock. So I'm going to grab... What did I want? I wanted... Because I'm going to go downstairs and for something to do, I'm going to change uh, the wheels over on the Giant and the Rally. Um, so I'm going to take my tire levers down. 
I'm going to need to take the six speed off of the black rims and put the seven speed on. That's on the giant because I'm putting those black rims in the giant. Uh, I also am going to need my free wheel remover. I'm going to need that one. I've got two types. I've got a shallow one and a deep one, <coughs> which is a uh, certainly. <laughs> certainly been well used, even if through the blurry image of the camera you can see it's uh, rather well used. Cyclo brand, I actually bought that from Wilco's, that one, because the cycle repair kit I got from Lidl's didn't actually have one. <coughs> it had that type and one for um, cassette removing, not freewheel. I just realised I'm looking in there for tyre wheels and they're actually out here. Oh, I was going to lug the toolbox down but I didn't think there was much point in that. Because I've got spanners and shit down there so... Oh, and the pipe wrench. The big old... St is this actually a Stilson brand though? That's the question. That's why we call them a Stilson over here. Or is it Stilson? I can't remember. I can't remember if there's a T in it or not. No, something company. Ooh, it's rather worn, I can't read it. I'll take those down with me. That's what I'll take down. It is bloody warm. It's not been bright sun, but it's been bloody warm. Don't tell me it's fucking raining. No, it isn't. Good. <sighs> anyway, what I want to say about this is. Back in the day, you wouldn't have paid much more than sort of 60, 70 pounds for this brand new. It's nothing modern, there is a fair bit of age to it. Um, this is probably late 1990s. And uh, Universal, Townsend, for some reason, they're the only two budget brands I can remember from back then. Pro Bike. Now, actually, Pro Bike used a little bit better parts, to be honest. I've had a, I actually had a Pro Bike, and I had it for four years, and the only thing I ever had to do to it was replace cables as and when they needed to be replaced. Um, but yeah, if you actually look at them, between Universal and Townsend, for example, all the parts are exactly the same, the frame design is exactly the same, it's just got a different sticker on it. Perhaps, um, some, you know, they give it a random name, like this one's a rapid reactor. <laughs> Shimano gear technology, you know. But I can guarantee these budget bikes all go to the... or the companies that do these budget bikes all go to the same bloody factory and say, can you make a sort of batch of bikes up and stick our names on it, basically? That's all they do. Exact same bikes, just put the customer's name, bike names and whatnot on them, you know, do them in their specified colours, etc. Now they're that cheap, they don't even have a badge, they've got a sticker on the stem. A good bike, like Schwinn, for example, actually has a metal, that feels like an aluminium badge, probably glued on. Rally used to rivet theirs on. Um, you can get rally badges off if you're careful because the really old ones do sell for a few pounds on eBay. But yeah, this is all just your box standard parts of the day on this, you know. That you could get by the bloody bucket loads back then. Most bikes had Shimano gear systems anyway. Brake calipers and nothing to write home about. So, yeah, I need to find somewhere to stow that, though I haven't got anywhere up here. I'm running out of space, I really am. Which is weird, I've got fuck all to sell, but I've got no room. How does that work? I'm actually tempted to 
take this universal back downstairs and lock up round back and lock my restoration project out front. I've still got at least room for one more out there. I don't know, two scanning wagons walking across the town park. Okay. There's a couple of young ones. There's been a lot of activity walking through here lately. Ever since Pokemon Go released. Anyway, I am pretty certain I'll end up keeping the Schwinn. Uh, it's a shame at this, because I could have done it up and actually sold it for a few quid. Even though it's old, you know, it still fully functions. But, I have a use for this wheel. That chain still looks good. Someone's changed the saddle on it. One of those vintage style ones. No, actually it is a vintage one. Is there a name on it? There is. You can't read it though in this light. But, uh, well, I suppose in a sense I've got some cables. There's a bit of bush in the drogia down there. I don't know if it's coming up on camera. It's a little green. Right on the end of the drogia. I wouldn't be surprised if this was dumped up at the skate park. Mm. I've found them up there as well. This isn't the only bike I've had from round the corner, and no one ever sort of bats an eyelid, so... It don't bother me. I'm not going to break it up just yet, though, just in case someone does start and want me to put it back, so... You never know. Especially if my neighbour goes blabbing his mouth to the council, but you don't know. I don't think anyone would care, because it'll save saves them, um, saves them, um, disposing of it, doesn't it? And, uh, good wheels, good tyres, actually. From <laughs> look at those. Yeah. Right, I'm going to, um, as it's nearly 7.30, I'm going to slip my t-shirt on. I'll turn that off while I'm downstairs. Oh yes! Oh, actually, I'll show you that when I come back up, so... I'll leave that for the next part of the video. So, toodle pip for now. Ow! Just noticed I've got a scratch right on my wrist. I'm not actually sure where that came from. Right there. See it? Right there. Bollocks if I'd know, if I know where that came from. <laughs> Oh, right. Bike sold. I've been and grabbed a couple of bottles of Pepsi Max because Lidl's actually have none of their freeway in. That is a really popular cola, and a lot of the time people buy them by the pack of six because in Lidl's. Yes, I have got my shirt off again. Cause it's freaking hot tonight. I actually step out from that fan. And the heat just, woof. It's like walking outside. It was just like walking into a wall of heat today. You know? It's been so dull. Anyway, with Lidl's, they don't actually stack single bottles of drink on the shelves. They um, have them wrapped in packs of six on a pallet, and they just wheel the pallet out. So if you want one, you have to split the pack and pull one out. Or if you want two, then you pull two out, etc. But because it's two pounds fifty two for the for all six, a lot of people just buy the pack of six. That's what I do if I'm there with mum. Because they're pretty bloody heavy. <laughs> and I don't really want to walk that far. And uh well, I suppose I could use my bike trailer, but I don't really want to settle that up just for that, so I usually just go across and just grab a couple. So, yeah. Sold out. I think they're 42 pence each. So for the six pack, all it basically is, is, um, I believe, I will just do a quick calculation, but I'm guessing it's just six times 42 pence. 0 0.4 2 times 6 is £2.52. 
equal 2.52. So yeah, that's what they do. They just multiply it by 6. There's a code on the handle of the wrapper as well that they just type into the till. Right. Whew. Oh, time I need to go for another dump. What is it? Every time I put the fucking camera on. Oh yeah, I've got to take the um, bottle holder off of that, the bottle cage off the Schwinn because uh, it's actually snapped. I didn't notice it snapped here. See that? Bit of a shame because that is a nice one. Oh well, I've got an anodized pink one I can throw on it. I've got a few others as well kicking around. Night lights. Can't tell you what. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I've put dirty, greasy bike parts all over the bed sheet, but that's filthy anyway. I'm going to change it. That bag there is bike parts. I got to go to uh, tubs and containers downstairs. And this lot. Oh, actually not all of it, but most of this will go back in the box. So I figured it was time I did some sorting out. So there's a few bits I'm going to put in separate piles, probably on the floor for the night, because uh, I've got to put them in boxes in the outside cupboard. There's a few bits gone down the back, such as the other handlebar grip. There's a brand new handlebar grip there. I want that for the Schwinn, because I'm going to go for grip shift. And that's what I forgot, I think. I've got another one of these in my box of shifters. I am bloody hoping, anyway. Because if I have, then I'll use these. If I haven't, then uh, I'm going to have to find something. But that will put the project on hold. Uh, perhaps I should have had a piss before putting the camera on as well. <laughs> right. I was talking to my neighbour again earlier, the one below me, and even he said that's probably why that was dumped. The broken, or the bent forks. And the bars are twisted around. Everything's all just... I do like the colour. It's just a shame it's got the universal name on it. Eh. But, I have got parts... Chain's rusty, but not rusted solid. So I could reuse that. Could reuse some of the cables. I think that rear brake cable, that'll be long enough. I'll be yards long enough, actually. Uh, front cable, possibly. Actually, I think I could probably use all four cables off of this. Everything moves, all gears and everything move, brakes move, so I know the cables are perfectly fine. They're not actually that rusty either. Oh, gear cable is. Aha! In that case, I'm not going to. Brake cable I'll reuse. Gear cables, I won't. This is what I hate about gear cables. There's more... Exposed, so they tend to rust because it's here where the water flings up from the tire. That's the bad on the brake cables because the water drips off, but down here they're getting splashed by water from the tires, and yeah, I just find that they rust a lot easier when they run down the down tube here than they do on a bike like this where they run along the crossbar. I will definitely keep this frame. It's worth uh that's worth doing alone. Or what yeah, at a later date. Even as a handlebar on the stem. Usually these are the first thing to do this. What the fuck is that squeaking? I think it's the pedal. Is it the pedal on the frame? No, it's something else. For a second there, I was wondering where the hell that squeak was coming from. I don't know why I could ride a bike with that. Brakes like that. We bought some really cheap, shitty lights for this. La 
Not keeping that bracket, it's not worth it. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to show you. <laughs> Nearly forgot. I've got a few bits on here I need to keep for the Schwinn. I've got some. Yeah. Well, those springs are going to go in the box with the rest of them, but I decided to put some bits in this case. So what it's mostly brakes, or at least from here and up. Uh I've got the bridges here. Had a bit of a sort out and threw some crap out as well. Brake noodles, brake blocks in the bottom. Let's see if I can uh pull that off. Dralia dropouts or hangers. Quick release seat post clamps. Non quick release seat post clamps. Standard seat post bolts and things, and um, some spare cassette sprockets and locking rooms and whatnot, all on there. Haven't finished putting stuff in there yet. Right. Yeah, and I did take some bits out of there, and they went in here, like the cable bridges. And I sorted out my um, bolts for these, because there's so many that were just rusty as hell, and I don't even know why I kept them, to be honest. Because I'll never use the rusty ones, and, you know. The idea is, is to clean up a bike, so I kept the decent ones that would polish up with a bit of steel or wool. So I think I sort of halved it. <laughs> right. Um, oh, there's a tray of um, some... Some of these. <laughs> Another brake noodle somewhere that came off the brake for uh, that I took off of um, that kid's bike, the rear brake. Bits up here, it might be up here somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. Who. I'm gonna get it. Might not. Uh, the, 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 the giant has black wheels in it, man. The rally is proven to be a problem. Um, the wheel I chose, I can't find any wheel nuts to fit the axle. It's got an axle in it which is actually slightly fatter in diameter than standard sized axles. So I found one nut out of my tin of nuts and bolts. Not the little tub of wheel nuts, four bicycle wheels, my nuts and bolts. So it's currently being held on with one nut at the minute. Uh, I've just got to pump the tyres up and realign the brake blocks because they've got to come up a little bit. For some reason, bike rims, even though they're the same size, they're always slightly different. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to disappear for a minute. Oh, that's better. Every damn time I put the damn camera on. <sighs> well, it's looking like I won't be going to Mum's tomorrow. The stepdad's got a mood on. And when he gets mood on, that can last weeks. Not just days, it can last weeks. Um, but it really is starting to tick me off as well because it's every time he gets his, you know, welfare payments and whatnot. But it's the same argument each time between mum and him. And I don't mind friends and family, you know, coming to me and bending the old ear roll when they need to rant and vent, but it gets a bit tedious when it's the same shit every time. And almost every day. It does get tedious. You know, it's not so much that he could be a complete dick at times, because we all can. 
my mum's not perfect either. I hope she can be a hand well, I guess a handful, not a handful, but she can be a pain to live with as well. <laughs> but uh it is, it's just the the tediousness of it. Anywho Here we go. Ooh, I suppose I better go clear that bed before it gets too late. Mum was actually supposed to phone me, but he won't let her use their eBay account to buy something. So Mum was going to phone me to give me the item numbers, and I bid on them. And she would then give me the money Monday to pay for it. Fair enough, I've done that for her before, it's not a problem. I thought that was new marketing. I got up and I heard this weird noise and I was like, what the heck was that? It's the cat making weird noises. Shit. I had the door framed the hard way. Right. Most of this... Uh, got a clean bed sheet up the corner there. That I got out to put on about a week or so ago. I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> I oh know, I'm slow. This is what I hate about the lighting. The bed is in total darkness. Well, it's shadow. But what I could actually do, if I can, when I get that light rigged up, I can turn that one round on the end here and point it down on the bed. But uh, the reason I've got it facing this way is because, you know, all my computers and everything is all up this end, so that's where I need the light. But what I can do, if I can reach, is hit this switch on the wall. And uh, I've got to do some work on that because that's not very safe. It's got lot blue and brown wires hanging out the bottom of it. Not good. <laughs> Bracket, and a box for those in the DDR. As outers can go in. So we've got loads of shit in here that can actually go into uh, proper bloody designated tubs. That's just being asked to do it, really. <laughs> my G clamps. I knew I had them somewhere. They can actually go in my toolbox. I know these are sort of like old fashioned ways of clamping things down, but i tell you what, I'd rather use a pair of those than the um, ratchet ones. My stepdad bought some cheap little ratchet ones, and there's just no gripping power with them. None whatsoever, so definitely, I um, suppose they're all right for small tasks, but for anything bigger than a small task, they're complete shit. Ooh. There's a third one. I've got another one of these somewhere. A Record Junior model or brand, this one. Made in England. Steel made in England. That would have been made at Steelworks, which is now closed down. Thanks to our government. <laughs> right. That's another piece that can actually go into the lounge. It's still shadowed on here. It's a computer piece. Doesn't even go in here. Lamp bracket. It's an old rally bracket. I tried selling that on eBay. Couldn't get no takers. I suppose I could try again. No harm in trying again. Little shim thing. A friend of mine wanted that shock, but he's not been up to grab it. Ah, there's another bit to go into the lounge. So I can go in my cases that I've got out those ones. There's wheel nuts and springs and Ooh, there's a nice quick release skewer. I may actually uh put that on the front wheel on the bike on the um, rally. That's a quick release. 
USB cable, I'll keep that out for now. Some more hogs, a cassette type. Keep these nuts out as well, because if I'm lucky, one might fit that bloody wheel. Torch blubs, I've got a tray for torch blubs through the lounge as well. Wheel nut. Nut, nut. Like I said, if I'm lucky, I'll... Uh, <laughs> I've got all these spokes, you see. I've got a decent back wheel downstairs. It's not buckled. The bearings are good and everything. But the spokes are shit. I don't want to put that on the rally. So I could do what I did with the other rally, my really old one, and uh, just change the spokes one by one. But I'm not sure I'm going to be asked to do that. If I can find another poxy nut, I'll do it that way. Break block. Wiggle nut. Screwdriver bit that can stay in here for now. So I can that one. Cotter pin. Get off. Oh, just toss the light bracket in there and that can come out for now. Yeah, I'm not worried about this bed sheet. Because uh, once I've got this lot cleared from the bed, as I said, I'm going to run. There's a bag of. What have I done with that? Is it that one? Is it this one? It is. Like a bit scared out. These things drive me nuts. I hate them. They go on the wheel, back wheel, between these and your spokes. But some of them are actually shit, and they go brittle, and they shatter easily, and ugh, no, I don't like using them. I'd rather just make sure my gears are set up properly so they don't go into the wheel in the first place. <laughs> That's a nice wheel hub. Specialised. Might clean that one up and try that on eBay, you never know. Why? I think I've got enough um, thingies for cycle computers. Bearings. So these can all go in the box of related brakes in the uh, cupboard. Some nice wheel washers there. Have those out. May require those. Toy fire engine ladder. No idea why that's in there. Yeah. I wanted to tip this out somewhere or another sort of sod it. I've got to change the bed sheet, I'll just do it on the bed. Right. I can't remember if there's any bike parts in there. I might actually pull that out in a minute and have a look. Right, can I get this lot in one handful? Nope. <sighs> Typical. Uh, sit that on there with those. Oh, that piece of shit fucking laptop. I think I'm just going to take the hard drive out of it. I don't think the keyboard will fit my Fujitsu, so I will just check it before. I think I'm just going to take the hard drive out, the memory out, and put the rest of it on uh, eBay. For sale, one piece of shit laptop, spares all repairs. I will take a photo of it uh, with the memory in so it, it'll power up to BIOS and whatnot. So I don't have to rely on my positive feedback. 
Drinks don't stay cold when it's warm. <laughs> that's, that's quite vile. I forgot about one here. So this in the morning, or tomorrow. So I'll put this on here. Oh yeah, that quick release skill has got to go downstairs, hasn't it? I'm not remember that. Um. 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 um, um. Run up the hairball. Thank you, Mr. Cat. Or should that be Mr. Nemo's? Oh, hell. <laughs> That's going to be far too heavy to pick up one handed. No! Oh. I'm going to have a look through that box because I can't remember what I threw in it. Give me a second. That's better. I think I've still got one of these up on eBay unless it's ended. May end up sticking that up there yet. What do we got? I need that over here. Because I'm using that remote to operate that TV, so. Computer fans up here. We've got a 12 volt cabinet light up here, in here rather. Two more computer fans. What's this? Frickin' dial up modem. I bought one of them back for months. I knew I frickin' had one somewhere. Is that a two way? Yep, there is a two way. I don't need it as a two way, but. What I was going to do is feed this cable in a switch on there and then run a cable on down there. We'll put the switch on the wall, one or the other. Not decided yet, I'll decide that when I come to it. To come to uh, putting it up. New power! That goes with the new power drill. I think this is just a massive tub of all sorts of random shit. <laughs> but I was just seeing if there was any, you know, random bicycle parts or anything in here. Random torch, which is why I can never find the torch. Get off. I think that's my red one. No. Need two hands to operate that one because I need to turn the thingy. Rechargeable battery. Yeah, just watch some random stuff in here. Oh yeah, I want to check eBay to see what uh, audio cassettes go for, because I've got a few of them that I don't want, so I guess that is it. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow, I don't know if Mum's going to uh, pop up here or not. She said she would, but I've not heard anything, so I don't know if I'll hear anything later. Oh. Oof. I'm sweating, Nemo. Uh, 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 uh. Well, oh. I, now that I, that 
that I've uh, sold that bike, I did get the um, project bike in the shed, so that's a bit of room out back. Uh, the quicker I can get that one over there taken apart for the parts I want, the better. Don't use your claws. Thank you. Right, I'm going to disappear for the night. Not a frickin' clue what I'm going to do for the rest of the night, and not a frickin' clue what I'm going to do tomorrow. So, we'll wait and see. Anyway, thanks for watching my video, and uh, I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.